A Bellevue cat mom is mourning one of her pets and praying the other pulls through. Court documents allege her husband beat the cats. Now he's facing a felony that could have put him in prison for three years. KTV News Watch 7's Joey Safchek is live with the wife's tribute to her beloved animals and the bigger picture of a case like this. Joey? Bill Quinesia, this is a graphic and disturbing animal abuse case, but it's also an example of emotional abuse and domestic violence. Using pets as pawns is much more common than many of us realize. Pretty, pretty girls is what I call them. Kiki Mothos dreads having to tell seven-year-old Riley their cherished cat Reina is dead, and her sister Loka is at the Nebraska Humane Society being treated for serious injuries. You say cats, I say daughters. I've had them since they were babies. And what Motho still struggles to fathom is how her partner of many years and new husband is the one accused of beating their beloved pets. I just miss them both so much. According to court documents, using a wooden back scratcher while Mothos and her son were out of town. Oh, it's because they scratched the carpet. That was his reason. Like, what, so my son draws on the wall? You're going to do the same thing to him? The VP of Programs at the Women's Center for Advancement, Katie Welsh, says stories like this one are tragically common. The bigger picture is that pets are a key means to keep control of a victim. Now, do you understand your rights? Mothos's husband, Dajon Jefferson, in Sarpy County Court Tuesday. He's charged with intentional cruelty to an animal, resulting in death which is a felony. Welsh says the intersection of animal abuse and domestic violence cannot be ignored. The folks who harm pets are probably, in many cases, harming somebody else um, that is close to them. This is my, my favorite picture of Rena. Now, like many domestic abuse survivors, Mothos is in an unenviable position. She plans to leave the state and stay with her mom, but says that puts her son, who has a rare medical condition, hours away from his specialists. I gotta go, I'm scared for my life, for my son. If he could do that to them, what makes you think he's not gonna do that to me or my son? Jefferson's bond is set at $10,000, meaning he'd have to pay $1,000 to walk free. The WCA also wants to raise awareness about a new Nebraska law, which allows domestic violence survivors to include pets in their protection orders. Plus, the Nebraska Humane Society has a program to help people escaping abusive situations. More information is on KATV.com. Back to you.